Mr. Vice Rector, I have the honor to present to you Zakira Mohammed Yaqub with a request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree has been taken on grounds of the following considerations. As an outstanding jurist in the field of human rights and constitutional law, Justice Zakira Uzak Yaqub helped steer South Africa into democracy and through landmark judgments towards a legal framework that aids in addressing the deeply entrenched socio-economic legacy of apartheid. Already as an advocate in the 1970s, Justice Yaqub showed his true worth representing a number of stakeholders in anti-apartheid activities, including UDF members in the Delmas treason trial and ANC members in the Vula trial. With democracy beckoning, he first served on the technical committee on fundamental rights in the multi-party negotiating process, and later the independent electoral commission that organized the first democratic South African elections. As a member of the independent panel of constitutional experts, he helped break deadlocks in the Constitutional Assembly and advised on the drafting of our 1996 Constitution. His appointment as Justice of the Constitutional Court in 1998 signified the start of 15 years distinguished service and seminal contributions to South Africa's jurisprudence on socioeconomic rights. Key among these is the 2000 landmark judgment in the Government of the Republic of South Africa versus Grootboom in dealing with government's obligation to provide housing to communities in need. Jacob developed a unique model and reasonableness review, balancing government's role to give effect to socioeconomic rights with the court's role to hold government accountable for doing so. This nuanced approach to adjudicating socioeconomic rights even inspired the adoption of new international human rights law mechanisms such as the optional protocol in the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, a core United Nations Treaty. Dames en heren, Rechter Zak Jakob, se deernis vir die kwestbares in die samenleving loop soos een silver draad dier sy werk. Hy beklem toon herhaaldelik die belang daarvan om arme mense met waardigheid en respect vir hulle basisse behoeftes te behandel. Soos hy in die grootboom opmerk, een samenleving wat op menswaardigheid Vrijheid en gelijkheid berus moet in alle mensen zijn basisse levensbehoeftes voorzien. Hier die gesofistikeerde, doch menselijke rechtsraamwerk wat je koop helpt skep het, is van ons katbare waarde nou dat die druk oplaai om grond en behuising te voorzien aan diegene wat die eerste onder die apartheidsbeleide gelei het. Rechter Jakob, wat sê dat Baba daar met blindheid saamleef, is ook een gerekende kampvechter vir welzijn en rechten van personen met gestreemdhede onder meer als voormalige voorzitter van zowel die Zuid-Afrikaanse Nationale Raad vir Blindes als die directie van die Zuid-Afrikaanse Bibliotheek vir Blindes. Mr. Vice Rector, unwaverling committed to serve society, Justice Jakob has been actively reinvigorating civil society organizations following his retirement from court serving on the board of the Socioeconomic Rights Institutes and Section 27, as well as engaging in various anti-corruption campaigns. Moreover, his popularity as speaker and constitutional advisor continues to take him across the country and the globe. Excellent in his science and engaged in his citizenship, Justice Zak Yaqub epitomizes scholarships with conscience. His contribution to human rights and social justice and his sustained service to society have earned him Stellenbosch University's highest respect. Mr. Vice Rector, I hereby request you to confirm the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa on Zakira Muhammad Yaqub for his outstanding contribution as jurist in the fields of human rights and constitutional law for his unique, nuanced and internationally inspiring approach to adjudicating socioeconomic rights and for being a respected champion for social justice and welfare and rights of persons with disabilities.
Zakaria Mohammed Yaqub, I hereby confer on you the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations. Blessings from Emma for us. Members of the Academic Corps, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, most importantly, I would say, all the students that are here today and all the graduates who have, unlike me, really worked for their degrees. <laughs> I would like to say three things today. The first is to express my gratitude to a whole range of people who have been part of my life my family to start with, the number of students who helped me while I was at university, all the activists with whom I worked side by side, my colleagues in the Constitutional Court, the number of people who compensated for the fact that I can't see and helped. I owe a great deal of gratitude to the whole of South African society for where I am today. One could never have done any of this by oneself. And these things happened because basically I think I happened to be at the right time, at the right place, and was able to embrace the opportunities that were offered to me. And therefore one learns from this that if you're in the right place and if an opportunity is offered, take it. So that's the first thing I wanted to say that I I owe a great deal to the whole of South African society where I am, and I'm very grateful for that. The second thing I wanted to say is that, fortunately, some of us are alive today. There are thousands and thousands of people who have died in the course of our struggle for freedom. It was really a very hard-earned freedom. It was difficult and that there are many, many people who've made a contribution who are not even recognized today. Many, many people who have, who are part of the military wing of organizations who left it and who are not catered for today. What we have not done, unfortunately, is recognize the consequences for people who have participated in the struggle, recognized enough the financial losses which they have suffered, and hopefully, Arising from here, something will happen in the future in relation to those people. But I, I just I cannot uh, pretend to accept this uh, honorary doctorate on behalf of all those people. That will be pretending too much. All I want to say is that I remember many, many of them, and it has been a difficult time. The final thing I want to say is that although our constitution is written on the basis that we have a non-racial, non-sexist society. That non-racism, that non-sexism, that view of equality is a vision that our constitution has. And in my view, that vision can only be achieved with the participation of all of us. We remain a sexist society. We remain very much a racist society. And the first step is for us to look into ourselves and see whether we are genuinely racist and sexist or not. And if we are not, let us start the journey of getting there. Because courts say one thing, people believe quite another. So we need a change in our own hearts and, hearts and minds. We need a social revolution. We need us to understand our Bill of Rights 
internalize it and live its values, get other people to internalize it and live its values, so that in 50 or 60 years' time, hopefully, we'll be able to say that 30% more of our population is non-racist and non-sexist than is the case today. I commend the social revolution to you and wish you good luck in the process of achieving it. Thank you very much.